Hello everybody, the ugly face is back for a one-off video, hopefully. So, I so today, when you're watching this, it is going to be the last day of 2022, and I felt the need to make the obligatory end of the year video, because it's necessary. <laughs> but in general, uh, th this is really a video to genuinely thank you all for the amazing year I've had so far in 2022. Uh, I will just say it's a big step up from last year, for sure, because last year was basically like hell on earth for me. And this year was much better because with all of your support and also just in general recovering from a bad year and just bringing myself back to where I want to be more happier and more positive, it's just better. I know my uploads haven't been as consistent as it has been like last year for instance, but I don't really care about that. I mainly care about putting out videos that, you know, have good quality, have good editing in them before I actually put them out. So, yeah. I, I mean, I hope to improve that in 2023, maybe get videos out better, maybe set a deadline, but in general, I prefer quality over quantity. Not only was this year just great in general, it also had a few firsts, like going to my first R6 esports event. And I am going to SI in February, so there's that as well. But in May, I went to the Charlotte Major for the first time, and I just gotta say that was probably one of the best experiences in my life. I'll probably put some pictures up. And also, I went to my first Formula One race this year. I went to the Canadian Grand Prix. Whilst it was nice, um, general admission wasn't that, wasn't that good. But overall, the race was nice. The race was nice. I got to see Sebastian Vettel, so that's good. I mean, hence I'm wearing the Aston Martin shirt. <laughs> And overall, Canada's was just really beautiful overall. So was Charlotte. Both cities were very, very nice. So to not keep you bored whilst you're seeing my ugly face, we're going to be playing some Cold War Zombies today. Now, you, I actually got Cold War recently for like 20 bucks because obviously it was on sale from Xbox. And you may be questioning my decision on why I didn't get Modern Warfare 2. Well, one, I didn't have enough money. And two, I, I really don't care. <laughs> I mean, Modern Warfare 2 is a great game. Like, I heard good things about it but to be fair I'll get it at a later date and plus to be fair it's it's kind of like a cycle for me like I always play the betas for Call of Duty like these new Call of Duties and then I never get them or I get them like a year after or, or two after they're they are released <laughs> and to be fair I don't think there's gonna be a Call of Duty in 2023 so I think I'm fine in my opinion plus to be fair I'm pretty satisfied with Cold War I think it's all right oh yeah we got Captain Price as well <laughs> Because I, when I bought the specific bundle for Cold War, it actually gave me him. So technically, I am playing Modern Warfare. So I don't want to go into too much detail what happened last year. But let's just say a lot of bad thoughts. A lot of bad, bad thoughts. And I just want to say, too, if you're struggling like how I was, talk to somebody. Like like whether it's a friend, teacher, parent, therapist, they, that's what they're there for. <laughs> 1984 what a time to be alive so i mean yeah i don't really want to talk about last year a lot because i well i kind of explained it in the intro part but yeah a lot of bad thoughts and such and in general um I i'm glad i was able to recover and pretty much just like kind of focus on myself this year and treat myself to like good stuff at least and the world treated me to good stuff which was nice <laughs> instead of the occasional bad stuff <laughs> Look at this guy. Damn, what happened to your arm? <laughs> but genuinely, um, yeah, I'm really just glad that I'm still here. I didn't, you know, decide to follow with my thoughts and just end it all, you know. I'm glad that at least... It, well, I, I had friends along the way that, you know, helped me and were there for me. Even friends like, you know, who I met this year, like, they were able to help and make me just feel better overall. And I can't be thankful for those friends. I think... They know who they are, who are watching this video. They know who they are. I gotta say, I, I really dig the zombies mode in this game. I don't really play zombies that much. The last time I really played zombies this much uh, was... The last time I really played zombies was like in Black Ops 3, pretty much. And that game, I gr that was like the last one I grinded a lot. But this zombies, th this specific zombies Cold War, I feel like it's a, it's like one of the best in my opinion. <laughs> it's just, it just plays so well. It's so fun. Ooh, mystery box. A lot of them are starting to come out now. Oh fuck. <laughs> oh, that's a different reload. Come on, give me that stun grenade. Sup, bitch. <laughs> what was that? Did you see that shadow? 
I'm so scared. What was that? There we go. Okay, you know what? Let's open up the mystery box. Let's see if we can get something good. A shovel. A fucking sho- Okay, you know what? Who cares? At least it'll one-tap them, at least. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> the last time I seen a shovel in the Call of Duty game was Black Ops 3. <laughs> The Ace of Spades, I think is what it, it was called. Oh yeah, and if I can take the time to show my like progress that I made throughout this year. Uh, here you go. 464 days I've been self-improving since September the 23rd last year. And uh, it feels good, to say the least. It feels really good. Obviously, I still had some low moments, you know, throughout the year, throughout this year. What the fuck? Oh. Carpenter. Yeah, I had some low moments this year, but overall, I mean, now that I have, like, an idea of how to combat these thoughts and make the- and, like, kind of, you know, help myself, it feels much better. Oh, fuck. <laughs> okay, you know what? This is actually pretty fun. <laughs> this shovel. Okay, so let's open this up. Okay, we gotta go down here. There we go. Okay, you know what, this, this, this shovel is actually pretty fun, I did not even, I don't know, I wasn't too fond of having, of like, playing with the melee weapons in here, but like, this is pretty fun, I must say. Oh, no, what am I saying? Ah, there we go. Now we got it. <laughs> but yeah, overall, I'm just really happy I didn't go with my, those thoughts, and I'm still here today, even though some days may be shit, I mean, I can at least be thankful that I'm able to, you know, combat those thoughts in my head, and overall just kind of make those days a little better at least you know so whilst we're here i guess we might as well speak about next year obviously because 2023 is upon us unless you're in australia or japan whether because it's already 2023 you're there mainly i'm still gonna do siege content 2023 obviously because i love the game still honestly this season is very fun uh last season brutal swarm that that season was very boring <laughs> i'm sorry to the developers <laughs> But it, it just was. I But honestly, it's because, you know, stuff got delayed. Holy fuck. Why did he come at me like that? <laughs> Jesus. Um, yeah, I honestly, Brutal Swarm was very boring. <laughs> this season, though, is very fun. I will say that. It's very fun. It actually brought my interest back, thankfully. Solar Raid, we got that new map. We actually got, a, like, a decent fun op. So Solace. Like, I really do enjoy playing her. Cross progression, cross play. Like I've, I've finally been able to play with my PS4 friends, which was nice. Oh, Bruh. oh my god! <laughs> my god, the shovel is so fucking fun. <laughs> it really is. <laughs> I know. Oh, I oh, 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 No, fuck off! I hate that thing. That thing that I forgot about it on here. God damn. <laughs> Run, run, run. Oh my god. This shit feels like Rainbow Six Extraction, like it with how those fucking bosses are. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Shovel to the rescue. <laughs> but also, whilst I'm gonna be doing Siege content still, um, obviously tomorrow, January 1st, I'm gonna be doing the F1. 2007 career mode that I, I know most of you aren't into formula one but i am i'm i'm like a huge fanatic of it but overall uh, i thought it would be fun to oh no i don't want the milano overall i think it would just be fun to do a career mode series on that mod because i am enjoying the hell out of it so yeah oh we got a sniper ah the fuck there we go Fuck you. Okay, yeah. I know a sniper doesn't isn't like good on this on like against zombies, but yeah, whatever. No scope. <laughs> Shovel massacre. <laughs> God, the shovel is so fucking fun. God damn. But yeah, expect to see a, hopefully a variety of content on this channel. Uh, obviously, you know I will still cater to the siege audience because. I love Siege still, and I'm sure a lot of you still love Siege too, even though maybe you don't play it as often anymore. <laughs> but it's just to kind of at least provide some variety and just overall make it not too repetitive, for instance. We can <laughs> we can upgrade our show- oh, oh. oh, it's called the Ace of Spades, just like how it was in Black Ops 3, I just told you that. And we upgraded our, our sniper rifle, there we go. Wait, so what am I supposed to do now? Oh, I got a radio, oh, I got a transfer. But yeah, I am... Another thing that I'm learning, really, is, uh... 
just learning how to do art. It's going pretty well so far. Obviously, I got this little, like, art pen here. It's called a Meta Pen, Pencil A8. I got it for like 18 bucks on Amazon whilst it was on sale. It's pretty good, pretty good deal because this pen is act, this artist pen is pretty damn good. Go to Xfil site. Where's the Xfil site? Oh, it's over there. Oh, I know this video is going on for probably like way too long, or at least with me, it, this video is like 22 minutes. <laughs> but I don't know. This this mode is so fun, so I'm just gonna keep on playing it. Oh, oh my God! Holy shit! You know, I'm just gonna keep on running. I'm just gonna keep on running. <laughs> well, apparently we gotta eliminate the hostiles. Oh my god! Oh, oh my god! Oh, oh my god! I think I'm gonna fail it because uh, I, if I don't eliminate the hostiles, but that's I think that's all right. Will it be? I think it will. Yep. I don't care. <laughs> I don't give a shit. I don't care though, this zombies is so fucking fun, I don't even care. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I think that's really all I gotta say for this year. This year has been amazing. Cannot thank you guys enough, really, for just making it a great year. You know, you guys supporting my videos and me providing, and me just providing eh, mediocre to somewhat good quality videos and such. So yeah, I will try to upload a little more in 2023 if I can. Uh, like. I mean, I have a pretty consistent schedule, but I don't know, to me, two days feels like a week, so <laughs> I'll try my best. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this final video of 2022. I hope you enjoyed me uh, getting jump scared in Cold War Zombies. <laughs> if you guys would actually like to see me uh, play Cold War, like more Cold War, maybe I can try to get some friends to play. And if you're excited for 2023, please make sure to drop a like and subscribe and uh, see you next year. <laughs> I had to slip in that joke somewhere, don't blame me.